Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I am doing some art journaling in a grid format. So I've already marked out the grids using some washi tape. Before I stuck the tape on my page I did just stick it onto my um, leg of my trousers just to take a little bit of the excess uh, sticky away. And I also discovered that if you heat the washi tape when you're trying to remove it just gently it um, makes it easier to lift off without removing the surface of your page. So then I'm going straight in with some um, Carnation, one of the pastel colours from Dina's um, range, just to get a little bit of a nice pale colour on the background to start off with. Um, this is something I've seen lots of people do, including Dina, um, and I just think it creates a really cool way to create some journaling. In fact, I enjoyed it so much. I am definitely going to be doing more of this. <laughs> I think I might do some smaller grids as well as these nice big ones. Um, but it's fun just to experiment and play with the, the paint and the colours and, you know, little spaces to try those what ifs. What happens if I do this? Um, and you notice here that I dried that first layer of paint and then I'm going in, in with the new fluorescent uh, pink in Stoked. Then I've dried it and then I'm going in again with the same pink and you can see it layers really nicely. You can create that same opacity that you get with the other paints with the neons just by layering it on top of itself. Um, look at that now. It's really, really vibrant. OK, so then I'm using a little bit of the grids collage paper. I'm just going to add one little piece of this onto my little grid squares on my page and I'm going to stick that in place using some uh, matte medium. Just making sure it's stuck down and then it kind of starts to melt into the background a little bit. In fact I'm using some of Dina's ultra thick gel medium only because that was the one that I grabbed first. So I'm just trying to vary the positions of the um, little bits of collage paper on these grids just so that it creates that um, just bit of variety really with what's going on. Then this is one of the new stencils, one of the coaster stencils. I can't remember whether it's one or two. I'm just see if I can find them. Um, it's one. And I'm just using some lemon through that stencil. So the rest of the neon paints have arrived today. Uh, so I can't wait to have a play with those. Uh, yeah, so this is the 16th of February when I'm editing this video. Um, and I should, should think it'll probably go live in a couple of days time. So um, by then there should be more videos with the other uh, fluorescent colours as well. So you can see here I've decided to remove the tape and I started pulling it and it was lifting the surface of the book off. So then just by I've just got the heat tool on really gently and just by gently heating the um, near the washi tape, it lifts it off without bringing the surface of the book with it. So there's a little tip there that if you um, have stuck washi tape down to mask and it starts peeling the surface off your book, don't panic. Just warm it up a little bit and it it should um, save the day. Actually, I wasn't too bothered. I just didn't want it to um, completely destroy the rest of my page. So you can see that this isn't sped up at all. This is I was just going really, really steady um, and slowly there just to lift that washi off out the way. So then I'm going in with the blue, which is legit. This is the neon blue. This one is quite translucent. Um, obviously, you can put it on a bit heavier than that and you could go in and layer that as well. But I didn't mind that kind of quite subtle look with it, really. Um, I think if you do that sort of dabbing motion with it, you can get a bit of a heavier layer of the colour there on your page as well. So I'm just doing the same thing in each of the three boxes and I'm using that um, stencil in the diamond configuration rather than the square. So I've just sort of tilted it round so that it's in that diamond shape. Then I'm using the um, bodacious one as a bit of a splatter on each of my 
uh, grids so I hadn't really put enough water in it and it did splatter quite heavily but I really wasn't bothered it didn't matter um, I liked how it looked it works really well and isn't it funny I've just noticed in that right hand square that there's a, like a little chunk missing out of the square I must not have put any paint up there but I guess that's one of the things about journaling like this is like you know you're experimenting and trying things out it doesn't matter I'm not really too bothered about that little hole <laughs> in the grid square so then I'm just using um, a black pilot pen and I'm just outlining those boxes just going over them a couple of times with slightly like sketchy lines not worried particularly about them being neat and tidy I quite like that slightly messy look. It's messy in a deliberate way. Okay. So then I decided it needed a little pop of um, other colour, so uh, my little tin of green scraps and I found the most fluorescent green I could get my hands on and um, I'm just cutting out some teeny tiny little hearts just to add one into each box. I'm going to have it sort of slightly overlapping the edge um, just to bring another pop of colour. This At this point when I was doing this I really wished that I'd got the other neon colours that they'd arrived already but um, they came today from Art From The Heart in the UK which is incredibly fast um, so that was very exciting. I can't wait to have a little play with those. Um, so yeah just using this little bit of green collage paper cutting out these little hearts just adds another accent to the page and um, another element of contrast as well. So then I decided I would put a little bit of collage paper underneath each heart and thought initially I would go with this black and white one um, but didn't really like it, felt it was just looked a bit odd. So in my little scraps tin of my sort of black and white pieces I've got some of Dina's uh, collage paper that's got a little bit of scripty text on so I just tore some tiny pieces of that off and popped that underneath the hearts instead and felt that worked much better. That's the thing, quite often I like to just audition pieces when I'm doing something like this where I'm, I'm wanting a very deliberate piece of collage. Um, quite often with my collaging as well it isn't deliberate and I just put things wherever I feel like but when I'm doing something like this I do want to be popping things down and thinking does this look right, does it feel right? Um, when I look at it, what do I see? Where is my eye led? Um, just thinking about the composition really and how it kind of hangs together, whether the page feels balanced as well. OK, so then I stuck those in place and then I'm just using a Tombow marker and I'm just adding a little um, ha um, shadow, not a highlight, Claire. Deary me. Um, a shadow to one side of each of the boxes just to give a little bit of a 3D effect there. Um, let's uh, pop those away from the background. And then, of course, it got to be time for some white dots. Just adding a few in each of the boxes. And then using a little cardboard tube and masking off the hearts, I'm just adding part of a circle stamp around those hearts in the squares as well. So I'm masking off the heart because I didn't want to risk getting the stamp on top of the hearts. Um, and then I also add in some smaller circular stamps onto my page too. So again, this is really just about bringing that contrast there. So I'm adding a bit of black and white in just to kind of lift the page a bit more really. Um, I've got some black left over so I then go in with a smaller circle and just dot some of those on the page too. And then I decided that the green hearts disappeared and they needed outlining so I went back in with my black pilot pen um, and just outlined those hearts with a couple of lines too.
and I'm trying desperately not to smudge any of the paint that's um, wet here, which is why I'm making it look so awkward holding that pen. <laughs> and then I wanted to bring those dots out from the edges of the boxes onto the craft background. But you can see, because there's no clear gesso on the background, the dots are sort of disappearing. But I actually quite like that slightly faded look. Um, and that helps to just bring the journaling out to the edges of the page. Then I'm just sticking in a quote from Dina's uh, typed ledger papers. And I think um, when I'd done that, that was pretty much it for this page, I think. Oh, apart from adding in some tiny little black dots amongst the white ones. Sometimes I just cannot stop fiddling and faffing. But I really enjoyed creating in this grid format. It was lots of fun to do. Um, the colours and the patterns really sing. So if you've not had a go at this, give it a try. It's lots of fun. It's a great way to experiment with the new neon colours and how they all play with each other. So thanks for watching. I hope you found some inspiration and I hope to see you again soon.